Alright, everybody sees me walking. I'm walking. Look. This plane isn't moving. It's not moving. But it sounds like it's moving. All right, everybody sees me walking. I'm walking. Look. This plane isn't moving. It's not moving. But it sounds like it's moving. Guys, don't fuck with me, please. I'm just walking. My hands are in my pockets. So is this like the scariest floor? No, pizzas. Pizzas? Pizzas, really? Yeah. Wow. That's, the, that's the only floor that I won't go alone. Like, I won't even go in. Really? Yeah. How come? Crazy kids story. All right. So there will be kids a part two no, in this I'll, one as we get in. Okay. You can go ahead and unlock. I'm getting, I'm not getting your face in there, just mm, paranormal activity in this unit. Mm. Here we go. Oh my God. Guys, do not. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ooh. Do we see any orbs? Oh, why is the bed like that in here? It looks creepy. It's weird. Mm -hmm. Dark nurse station. It is. It does. You do get a creepy. Oh God, it's creepy. Do not do anything to freak me out. Do not. That the nurse station is hella creepy. Oh my god, there's a shadow over there. I'll die. That's creepy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks creepy, I don't know. Maybe you guys will pick something up. Let's go around the corner. <laughs> oh shit, that was him. Oh Jesus. <laughs> shit, let's go around this way. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's creepy. There's nobody in any of these rooms, they're all empty. I'm telling you, the better time to come here is 3 a.m. 3 a.m. Why 3 a.m.? It's witching hour. Really? I just don't like, oh, a lot of the beds are turned. Oh my god, I don't know. That chair like kind of just freaked me out. Look yeah. at that. I heard something up there. <laughs> I heard voice. I heard a voice. I'm not kidding you. I heard a voice. <laughs> it was I heard a voice. I heard a fucking voice. <laughs>
GoPro 7 works perfectly fine for me. I cracked it a little bit, but I use the case. Um, definitely not a voiceover though, so I'm gonna show you the video straight out of my GoPro. Just like how I recorded it. Yeah, it's still there. Okay. What's happening with the lights? Because I'm, dude, I'm looking the the, the lights are. The, and I can't see, like, I literally see nothing. The lights are off right now. Oh, it just moved. It just moved. No, it did not. It just it moved. Off, it just no, moved. Dude, I just heard a weird fucking noise. Please don't tell me that as you said that. Dude, it just moved. No. All right, and, you're, and you see this thing? Yeah, it's still there. Okay. What's happening with the lights? Because I'm, dude, I'm looking the, the, the down lights the are, hallway, and the, I can't see, like, I literally see nothing. The lights are off right now. Oh, it just moved. It just moved. No, it did not. It Please just moved. It, it just moved. I just heard a weird it fucking noise. Move. Please don't tell me that as you said that. Dude, it just moved. No. The light just turned on. It looks like a hallway light. Okay. Uh... The light, the, the unit I was just in? No, 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 no. From where I'm at, you remember where you seen them standing? Yeah. The light just turned off. Okay. It's still standing there. It looks sideways, though. It looks like it's like... And what does it look like sideways? The second one, the, dude, it looks like two people in there. Two people? Yeah. You're filming it? Yeah. Oh, what do you see? It looks like one just bent down. Okay. It's bending over. It looks like it's trying to pick up something. What? Okay, dude, you're not talking to me. Can you it's it's getting it's getting taller. What? Really tall. What do you mean really tall? It, it's getting tall. It's moving sideways. Like it's leaning back and forth. You see it moving? Yes. Is it too tall to be... Don't judge me. Security! I just want to talk. Security! I love this building. This building's so cool. Did you throw that? Throw what, dude? I just heard something. Something, something just threw across the room. What? Dude, I something just. I'm, I'm, I'm outside the door. I don't have access to that unit. Oh, I don't even that. think I got it on video. My, my phone was just angled up, but something just got thrown at the window. Security, please open the door. I know you're in there. Something just got thrown again. No way, dude. I'm out. I'll be down in a minute. Does anything look broken, like glass? Uh, oh. The lights are off. It's gone. Oh, fuck it. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh, it's back on and still there. Lights are flickering on and off. Dude, I'm not even near that door anymore. Fuck this shit, man. Uh, is it still there? Oh, the lights are off now. I don't see it. All right, so I'm gonna try to make this really fast. Um, so basically what happened that night, I got to the building to do my patrol. Um, we're driving around the building. Uh, we look up at the building and the uh, the light on that fifth floor is on. And at that point we see something standing in the window and we're like, oh crap, somebody is in the building. They're not supposed to be in the building. And it didn't really make any sense because you know, if they were to break in or something like that or already been in the building, the alarms would have went off because the alarms were set 
So it didn't really make sense at that point. So, you know, I sit out there, make sure nobody comes out. He goes up there and we're on the phone the whole time. And he's asking if I still see it. And um, then the lights started flickering on and off once he started knocking on the door. And then it just completely vanished. So that was the first video I posted. Um, when it happened the second time, it was the same thing. I mean, we're driving around the building. We see it doesn't make any sense because it's the same thing that happened the first time and then all the extra crap happened with something being thrown at the the uh, window and all and I agree with you and the comments talking about well it sounds like he threw it because you could hear it on his side of the phone and it would sound muffled if you know he was on the other side of the wall I agree with you there but I have no knowledge about what's on the inside of that building because I've never been there. I only have access to the parking garage. Um, I don't really know what to make out of it because none of it really makes sense to me. It just scares the crap out of me. So I more or less posted it on TikTok to try and see if I can try and find some type of answer for it. Um, I didn't report it to my bosses at all because it was sounding funny. You know, hey, I got a video of this happening but there's nobody in the building and the cameras haven't picked up anybody in the building but the security officer. Um, I can't specify what building it is or where it's at in Tampa um, cause you know, I could lose my job if somebody finds out where it's at. And uh, as far as the video that he took, he doesn't want to send me the video because he's scared he might get in trouble and lose his job because of the inside of the building and you can see him the whole time. Um, so he really doesn't want to do that in case of losing his job, which is understandable because he has family. Um, I know a lot of people are saying that it's a cardboard cutout or somebody else is in the building or it's some type of sheet or something. I mean, for something to be like that and be that transparent and move the way it does and just disappear out of thin air and walk through walls, basically, I mean, I just can't explain it. It doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, I'm not going to say I believe in the whole paranormal thing, but I'm not going to say I don't. Um, I'm more or less just respected for, for whatever it is. Um, really after, after that night, I mean, it just, it just stopped like nothing else happened for the rest of the night, which is kind of odd. Um, but yeah, I mean, like if anything still happens, you know, I'll still record it. I'll upload it. But as of right now, we have no answers at all. I don't even know where to go or what to do about the whole situation. Cause it just doesn't make sense. And uh, that's currently where we're at, so that's the story time. Security, I know you're in there. The fuck was that? Yeah, what was that noise? Dude, that was just behind me. Was that like a fire alarm or something? I No, dude, it was a squeak noise. Like something just moved behind me. I mean, what the fuck, dude? Vi går vidare, vi går vidare hitåt. Uppåt kommer ingen så. Jag hittar det. Jag hittar det. Jag vet inte. Jag tror att det var den sista gången. 
Stop on that, Det var riktigt läskigt. Släpp! Har du sett katt? Stanna tillsammans. Ja. Vad fan ska det? Hur fan var det? Men vi vet inte. 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 You may be thinking that I am certifiably insane for staying here after the last encounter, and you're probably correct in your assertion. But the lure of this place is undescribable. I need to find out what's going on here, and after tonight I may have found the one area where all this culminates from. Most of the videos I have shared with you take place either above, below or adjacent to this area right here. This abandoned unit is what's on the other side of that wall. The bulkhead you see here is next to the exact spot I was lifted up to during the entity's attack. I rarely go into this unit as the activity here is extremely high, but I've come to believe this access hatch and the area leads into might be a center point. I set up my camera and leave the room to see if I might capture something. Here's the moment after only an hour of recording. My brain is telling me to run and never look back. My heart says if I'm already going through hell, I may as well go all the way through. I need to look inside. I may have made an error by constantly recording this thing and posting the videos. I might have inadvertently caused the entity to strengthen and manifest in the way you're about to see. Keep your eye on the statue head. I'm not doing too well. I do what I can to stay focused and grounded in here but I feel like I'm fading. Nevertheless, I'll keep pushing forward for as long as I can. I think I know what I need to do next and what I have to retrieve.
Fuck this job. La verdad que esta parte está muy reventada. una sesión de spirit donde la muñeca ya empezamos ya empezamos detrás mía y uno. por dios A lo que sea que esté por aquí conmigo, ya sea demonio o cualquier cosa, de frente, no por detrás, no por la espalda. Yo creo que no eres un demonio y que no tienes fuerza ni capacidad para enfrentarte a mí. Eso 
sonado ahí, algo fuerte, ¿eh? como arriba. No puede. El que no puede. ¿Y? ¿Está aquí atrapado? Está inquieto. Yo, Dios mío, esos golpes. Por Dios. ¿Dónde cojones suenan esos golpes, tío? A maldad pura. Una maldad, tío. Pura maldad, tío. Eh. Pitar detectó. Yo no me acordaba ni que estaba ahí. ¿Dónde estás? Oh. Dios mío 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 Yo Lo he sentido en la oreja El susurro ese Aquí. ¿Cómo que aquí? Yo prometo que lo he sentido yo como atravesándome. No sé que me habrá recogido esa cámara o si la habrá recogido. Dios mío de mí, ¿eh? me he escuchado aún aquí. Ahí va. Oh. Oh, oh. Me ronda, tío. Vaya cogida. Mierda, desenfoque, cojones. Vale. Vaya lo curó un tío. Vaya lo curó un tío. Coño, cojones, 
Dios mío. ¿De dónde ha salido eso volando? Por Dios. Por Dios. Por Dios. ¿De dónde coño salió eso? Viene para mí, ¿eh? Uf. Dios mío. Dios, viene por mí. Dios, viene por mí. 